Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Delaware Park here on Saturday, to July the 16th, 2016. We're going to look at the stakes races, races 7, 9, 10, 11. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections. Today's seventh race from Delaware, it is, and hopefully I say this right, it's the Hawkinson uh, Stakes. Purse $50,000, it's for three-year-olds and upwards here. Uh, we have a field of nine horses traveling six furlongs. <laughs> um, six furlongs ahead of them. And uh, I like a horse who ran um, last week. Is this the race? Yeah, there's a horse that ran last week. That's two horse green grotto. Uh, he's two to one here. I think he should really do well. Uh, the biggest question is the layout, uh, is the quick. Um, Running back, but I think he should do well. I'm gonna go two, three, five, four, two, three, five, four. Number two, Green Grotto, two to one. Jose Ortiz coming in from um, New York City to ride. Last time out, ran the Belmont Sprint Championship at Belmont Park, of course, last week. Horse finished fifth by eight and a quarter lengths that day. Was up near the leaders early, but did got overtaken in a field that was very, very tough. Start before that, what came at six rungs in the Belmont at Belmont and the Jaipur Invitational Belmont Stakes Day. This horse finished eleventh by eight lengths that day. Only his third start on turf, and uh, I'm not sure why they ran this horse on the turf that day. You know, th I think this horse is a better dirt sprinter, mid Atlantic kind of dirt sprinter. This is a perfect spot for this horse. Then a Mammoth and a JJ Rally on May the 28th. This horse finished second by one and a half lengths at 90 cents to the dollar. You know, he's dueling that day, but then lost the lead to the winner, eventual winner. And then this horse finished third in the Dablo. This horse's last win, you have to go back to the Gravesend back in December at Aqueduct. He won the Gravesend by five and three quarter lengths. I have the lead throughout and really had a very nice victory. I think this horse should do well here in this spot. Two to one. I know, you know, it's not the best price in the world, but, you know, with the quick. Run, run back against the less quality field. I think this horse should run well. So to recap the, my bets for race number seven from Delaware Park, going to go to two horse Green Grotto. Going to do a superfecta two three five four two three five four. So now we're going to skip over race eight. We're not going to handicap race eight, but we're going to head on to race number nine and look at the late pick three. So race number nine is the 79th running of the Delaware Handicap Grade One per seven hundred fifty thousand dollars for Phillies and Mayors three rolls and upwards. We have six horses traveling the distance of ground of a mile and a quarter, 2,000 meters, 10 furlongs, I, 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 whatever is uh, the distances in feet or, you know, yards, uh, you can go by that, but a uh, mile and a quarter, uh, six horses going to post here, and the, the four horse on the chatterbox looks very hard to beat in the spots. Uh, in the spot, and in the pick three, I, I would single this horse on the chatterbox. So, uh, but I would go in a superfecta wager. I would go four six five one four six five one. I, I am I am aware it's a little chalky, but you know you gotta do what you gotta do. But number four, I'm a chatterbox six to uh, six to five here. I wish it was six to one, but six to five. Flora Giroux. Last time out, ran here at Delaware Monmouth on June the 11th in the Ove. The local prep for this race. This horse won by eight and a half lengths at thirty cents a dollar. And uh, this horse has had a very nice victory. Uh, kept opening up in the end. But had a little traffic early on, but overcame that to a very nice victory. Then double dare at uh, Keeneland Mile 16th on April 22nd. The source for second by one quarter lengths of 50 cents to the dollar behind Brooklyn's Way, who's running uh, a few states over in Indiana, in the Indiana Oaks or something like that. But this horse, um, you know, need a little extra ground that day. First start back, kind of expected not to be the best start. Finished, and then this horse ran Bridge Cup Distaff at Keeneland. This horse finished eighth that day, won the Cotillion, finished second in the Alabama, won the, uh, the Coach Club American Oaks last year, but got disqualified, placed second because a little bit of interference behind Carolina, uh, who I believe won this that day, and finished third in uh, the Kentucky Oaks and won the Fairgrounds Oaks last season. Distance should be a problem. Very good horse here. Has a lot of class. This horse has made uh, $1.3 million. So I think uh, Larry Jones, who trains this one, knows what he's doing with this horse. So to recap my best race from nights, Delaware Handicap from Delaware Park. I'm going to go to the four horse. I'm a chatterbox. Uh, going to go 4651. 4651. So now let's get on to race number 10. The 10th race is the 62nd running of the Kent Handicap. Grade 3 purse, $200,000 for 3-year-olds. Uh, we have a field of 8 horses traveling a mile and one eighth here. 
at Delaware Park. This is one of my favorite races. Uh, for some reason, they keep moving this race all around. That, that's what I remember. It used to be in September. That's what I remember it from, like, September 12th, somewhere around there. Uh, the first Saturday in September, or the second Saturday in September. Uh, now they moved it here. It's, it's always a good race, this one. You always see see some nice horses here. And I really like the four horse here, Converge, as a top selection. I'm going to put this horse into a super effective. I'm going to go 4 8 Two three four eight two three number four converge four to one Kendrick Hare moves for Chad Brown at Sydney's Candy last time out ran at Belmont a mile eighth in the Pennine Ridge horse finished seventh by two lengths that day at eleven to one you know it just had nothing that day you know his last few he had nothing he, and then the American Turf at Churchill Derby Day horse finished six by six lengths had nothing again that day and then the Transylvania the horse finished fourth by three and three quarter lengths. You know, I was off slow, was a little bit wide, had steady, it was just a horrible trip that day. Last win for this horse came to Palm Beach at Gulfstream Park, mile 16th. Horse won by three quarters length, closed up very well. I think this horse will face a lesser quality field than he's been facing the last three. We'll get the kind of field, we'll be facing lesser quality horses than he won with in the Palm Beach. Palm Beach field was very very good um, this year. That, that race is always good, but I think this horse could really run well here. 4-1, to one, like the price. I don't think you're going to get the 4-1 to one price. If you can lock in your odds on Beck Bear if you live in Jersey and you've got 4-1 to one or 5-1, to one, lock it in, because I think he has a very strong chance here. Now, uh, like I said, I'm going to do a pick three ticket here. Uh, uh, the other horses in this race that could maybe upset the eight horse, uh, Mighty Mo is a very nice horse also. Um, you know, and I, I would maybe go two, three deep in this race. Since I'm singling, I'm a chatterbox, I would go four. Um, you know, I have highly prized on this ticket. He's entered for a race at Laurel, and I have a strange feeling he might enter at Laurel instead. But I would go, I would use four, eight, three. Four, eight, three here. If the two horse scratches, two horse uh, runs, I would go four eight. No, I would use all four of them actually. If the uh, two horse runs, but uh, but I really like Converge here as the top selection. So to recap my bets for race number ten, it's the Kent Handicap from Delaware Park. Gonna go to the four horse Converge. Gonna do a Superfecta. Gonna go four eight. Two three four eight two three. So now let's get on to race number eleven, the final race in the program. It is the Carl Hanford Memorial Stakes purse, fifty thousand dollars. It's for three year olds and upwards. It's a very nice uh, race here. Uh, seven horses traveling the distance of ground of a mile and a sixteenth. And my top selection here will go to the five horse. Uh, I think will be probably a single. Uh, number five, Kid Cruz. Three to two fa uh, favorite here uh, for Jose Ortiz. Like I said, five, three, one, two in the Super Facta. Another horse could maybe upset, maybe the three. Maybe I'll put the three on, but you know, it's if this comes out, it's not going to pay anything. It's going to be a very chalky sequence, I think. So you know, it, it, it's. Uh, it, you know, maybe I'll go too deep. Maybe I'll just single Kid Cruz. I'll, I have to see what I feel like on the day. But top selection, Kid Cruz, 3-2. Jose Ortiz coming from New York to ride this one. And let him drop Kid, winner of the, two th of the 1999 Belmont Stakes at Belmont Park, of course. But last time out at, at Belmont, a mile and a half in the Brooklyn Handicap on June the 11th. Source finished seventh by six and a half lengths that day. Just had nothing. Was wide. You know, was a favorite. Did not run at all. Then the Excelsior at Aqueduct Mile Quarter, April the 9th. This horse won by a uh, half length uh, in a field of five horses. A very nice win. Very easy. Just a very all around good race. And then a Laurel Mile eighth in the John B. Campbell uh, Stakes. Horse won by a half length. Another great victory. This mile and a quarter distance is perfect for this horse. In the spot, well, he's not running mile and a quarter. He's running mile 16th, but he's, he's in a great spot to run today. He should. He should have a very good race here, like I said. Um, this is, you know, the Excelsior and the John B. Campbell Stakes, uh, you know, that especially that John B. Campbell Stakes where it wasn't the best quality horses. This horse really romped that day. And the Excelsior, he romped against those good New York horses. Well, you know, those New York horses were better than the horses he was facing down at Laurel. And, his de and that field was definitely better at... Um, at uh, Aqueduct also. So going to go with this one. So count my bets for race number 11 from Delaware. Uh, going to go to the five horse. Kid Cruz. Going to do a super fact of 5312. 5, so good luck to all. Follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.